I didn't want to make a video about this recent airplane crash uh, of the German wings in France. If it weren't that I was at a similar A320 crash site once. Also in the east of France, in the mountains in a forestal area at 1000 meters altitude, winter conditions with snow, same airplane A for Airbus 320, also under so-called mysterious conditions, and they also finally blamed the dead pilots. So you can see that in Wikipedia, it was in 1992. And uh, here, it happened here. Here's Geneva, the CERN. Uh, it's about the same distance, here's the accident now. And this is the largest, the largest uh, forest in France. The, the entire area here, it's all, it's 87% forest. And uh, uh, here is the site where I was at. Well, this is probably much later. And here all the victims. It says, l'erreur de pilotage. Uh, humans did it again, you know. I was there just a few months after the crash and it crashed 50 yards from the cave of the Druids. So I thought, well, interesting, maybe the Druids pulled 96 souls in, of whom only 9 survived. Imagine how they must have felt after. It happened less than a kilometer away from where I made this video here 20 years later in 2012. But back in 1992, when I was at the crash sites, there were no HD cameras and no YouTube yet. The internet was just beginning, no cell phones and no CERN at all yet. As some people think, CERN did it today. Well, let me tell you to those who think it's a hoax altogether and it never happened. The ho ju just like as in Paris, for instance. The whole area was ploughed. Trees cut in half and a large brand new fence around it in the middle of nowhere in a hugely extended forest and the biggest in France. And as 23 years ago, I wasn't that fat yet, I climbed over that large shining fence and even found debris and pieces of aluminium. I think it was melted but I'm not sure about that anymore. I even carried it in my backpack for a while as a souvenir. So conspiracies that tell that the latest accident never happened, well, even some German wings fall down eventually, it's called gravitation. And I was there at an almost 100% similar crash in the French mountains with that very same airplane. This is just a very dangerous plane, involved in numerous fatal crashes since its inauguration in 1987, with 12 total loss crashes in 15 years. Plus minor crashes like the landing in the Hudson River in 2009. The total disappearance of the uh, Air Asia last year and only a few months ago and the terrible accident at the uh, Mont Saint Odile where I was at. It wasn't CERN and it did really happen because these planes fall down all by itself like flies from the sky without needing any CERN and in a way a Jap kamikaze would be proud of. So this is in Wikipedia the accidents of the A320 you can put in the links for you, you can read all yourself now there it is again, the Hudson River A320 well. And here I was at a few months after, in 1992, uh, at the uh, Mount St. Odile. And uh, 87 people died. And I found a lot of debris. Well, just told you before. Nevertheless, governments lie. The authorities lie. And the Swiss fascist Nazi police lies. In this very case of the A320, why? Two reasons. The money trail and 
New World Order and their technocratic total control state. First of all, the money trail. It's highly suspicious seeing two heads of state taking their precious royal pharaonic time to go to the crash sites, selling us their fatherly compassion with the victims and with us humans. But nothing further from the truth. Airbus is a French-German state company and the only one in the world that can compete with the US aviation monopoly of Boeing and Douglas. So here you can see it, finally assembly of the family in Europe takes place in Toulouse, France and Hamburg, Germany. With the family, it's meant the A320 family, the plane that comes down. So this is in Wikipedia. So here's their logo, which I find quite interesting. Because of the A320, the number 3 is in here. The three arrows like things, you know, because four. Three is always Isis, Horus, and Seth. And here's the number two, because we can see this two times here and here. And here's the O, because altogether it's a circle, it's an O. And of course, two times three, as we can see here, one, two, three, four, five, six, is six. Which sort of. Um, might be a, um, a reference to a 666, which we'll find actually in another logo of the Airbus Defence Company, which I'll show it to you in a moment. And there's probably more to see in the logo, which I don't see now. It's always very, very much calculated and occult. So this is actually a state company and it comes out of the um, uh, the uh, uh, weapons industry, actually, of um, um, Aerospatiale in Toulouse, in French, in France. Funny enough, in Toulouse there was also the um, a couple of years ago the um, a, a so-called terrorist attack against Toulouse. So you know. There's a big business, a lot of Freemasons, if there's a big business. And, uh, well, that always attracts very bad things. So billions, if not trillions of dollars, are at stake, being therefore a lot cheaper blaming the human factor than risking worldwide sales. So their suicide pilot theory is absolutely twisted and an insult to humanity, which the money trail was set straight. Because we live under a corporate democracy, where political leaders protect financial gain before human lives. As simple as that. And where's the heart then of this corporate government, where all the money and banks are with trillions of evasive criminal funds? Yes, Octogon of Switzerland and the Alps, whose Templars give all the orders anyway, and who never did anything wrong, just as the A320 plane itself. Well, I wouldn't be surprised at all when all the main Airbus shareholders are all Swissies. And if you just have a quick look at their logo, you'll find a very great similarity with the Airbus logo. So this is where the shareholders are, to my opinion. Yeah. Swiss Sustainable Finance, SSF, was created to promote sustainability in the Swiss financial market and strengthen Switzerland's position as a leading worldwide center for sustainable finance, etc, etc. Templar stuff, folks. Templar stuff. They rule the entire world. And secondly, the New World Order Technocratic Society. The A320 is probably the first total control airliner that flies itself in order to compete with Boeing and Douglas. The pilots just take off and land, then up in the sky push a few buttons 
and for the rest the airplane flies itself and it's here all things go haywire and in almost 28 years the technicians tried to locate the error why the computerized electronics make the airplane lose height all the time and make it crash into a mountain or into an ocean it is as if the computer has taken over control of the situation by deciding that time has come to erase a plane load of humans and scary enough these computers are interconnected to a huge main computer on the ground in fact there isn't any more human factor in flying an A320 and yet these corporate liars blame all crashes on the human factor now even going as far as depicting a young pilot as a suicidal kamikaze mass murderer yeah, it says down here they call him a mass murderer yes the German word for mass murderer it's all about money and politics believe me Remind you, this highly sophisticated plane was built in the era of the rise of the computers, cell phones, chips and real, real total control enabling new world order total control over humanity only possible through the reign of the computer in our technocratic society. And therefore this particular plane and its crashes are so important to these government creatures because they are the very high-tech tools of total domination and the final slavery of humanity. I'm not religious. Don't believe in any God, Christ, Allah, Buddha or any other religious hocus pocus. And as a historian, go for the facts only using my intellect and brains. But damn, I see it's coming, that 666 mark of the beast. We're almost there, and those plane crashes slow them down towards their goals being therefore, in the bigger sense, almost a blessing for humanity. Though I mourn for all those dead children, of course. Do you all see it? Well, this is an all-seeing eye. You see it? And the Airbus Defense and Space, that's the original company. They, they are in making tools to kill people, to kill humanity. And this is where the, uh, the passenger plane uh, derives from. It came out of a, of a military industrial complex. And do you see the two sixes? They, there are two mirrored sixes. Here's one, it's mirrored, like seeing from the eye, you know, it's very complex, you know, it's very calculated. So the eye sees it as a six, you see, we don't see it as a six, because this is the hidden hand of the masons, of these pharaohs, that only they see it, and that's why it's mirrored, only this all-seeing eye sees it. Do you understand what I say? So there's six and another six. And there must be a third six. Um, well, I suppose, yeah, the, here's the third six. It's white. There it is. This is the third six. So this is one, two, and three. There you go. Three sixes. One is like light blue. The other one is dark blue. Or here. And the third one is white. You see, it's very complicated. You know, I didn't even see it until now. So this is the all-seeing eye, you know, Horus. The eye in the sky, you know, they, they, if the, if the next time in Toulouse, where they're from, if there's another, well, it's a multinational company anyway, a multinational pharaoh. So the next time in Toulouse, if there's like any Muslim brothers who want to, uh, who want to do some, so-called terrorist attack what you have to know the airbus and the uh defense and space airbus aerospatial company with their satellites in the air they're at the right at the same spot as in toulouse 
where, where you want to do that sort of terrorist, uh, so-called terrorist attack, my Muslim brothers. So, and they just rewind, everything is being filmed, you know, 24 hours a day, every square inch of our earth, and they just re rewind the pictures, you know, well, it's no more rewinding, as I've shown you in my other vid, and they see who you are, where you live, where you came from, what your name is, your di everything. So here's the all-seeing eye. And Aerospatial, they launch all-seeing eyes and satellites into the sky from um, Central America in uh, uh, French Guiana. Le Dom Tom, le territoire d'outre-mer. That's where they launch them from. So the all-seeing eye is here, and the 666 is here. Well, what do you know? And I'm not even religious. Because, you know, if I would be religious, I would pray and think, you know, well, I don't have to do anything. God is going to do it for me. So, thank God I'm not religious. You know, otherwise I wouldn't be doing anything with my fatalist religion, religious attitude, which I don't have, fortunately. Ah, this is how they reason their sly lie. The safety of, of the transport means is based on distance. Well, of course, an airplane's, you know, it goes like a thousand times faster, you know, than walking. Well, that's very sly, I must say. And just like the biblical total control chip and like this A320 airplane, it's all part of the rise and the reign of the computers in this era of total control. Therefore trying to sell us that flying is the safest, safest means of transport ever invented, which is a total lie. Because if the plane falls, you fall and there's nothing you can do about it. But in a car you still are in control and if you drive safe, not too fast and careful, you'll never create an accident, unless you get bossed and braked like Lady Diana. And if you board the Titanic, you can still send an SOS, swim, jump the dinghy or bribe your way through it for a first class seat in the lifeboat and throw some kids overboard. But if you're a320 total control airplane goes down there's nothing else you can do than be very nice to the computer and pray to that beast called the big computer in which hands you have laid your life and that will take all decisions for you and your loved ones from the moment on you have entered the airport <laughs>